wouldn't you like to be Superman? Maybe you're a Batman guy like me, but I would love to be Superman. Well, let me rephrase that. I would love to be Superman in my kids' eyes. What's happening, guys? My name is Brent. If you haven't met me before, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the Fallible Man. This is my podcast, and this is my channel, guys. So, welcome to the Fallible Man. We make content to help men, husbands, and fathers in general, like all guys. We make content to help men be the men they want to be. If this is your first time joining us, welcome to the group. Welcome to the movement. If you're coming back, guys, it's great to see you again. I'm honored that you're here either way. On today's show, we're going to talk about... Let me grab my notepad here so I don't blow this. On today's show, we're going to talk about being a dad. Now, if you're not a dad, that doesn't mean you should bail on the show, guys. Okay? If you're going to be a new dad this year, be sure and go back on the podcast. I did a podcast episode called 10 Daddy Tips for Every Dad to Be. For Every Dad That's... Sorry. I paused too long on that one. 10 daddy tips for every dad to be. And guys, if you're expecting to become a father this year for the first time, you definitely need to go back and check that show after this one. I'll uh, link it at the end of the YouTube video as well. But even if you're not a dad, this show is still good for you. Okay, don't don't bail on us. But check this out. This is what I want you to know. Today, we're going to focus on becoming the men that our kids think we are. Be sure and like and follow us on all the social media platforms, guys. We are available on almost every platform or all the platforms you want to be on, whether it's a social media platform like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or even TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok account. I kind of hate myself for it sometimes, but I post on TikTok a lot. So mainly because it's more fun to make videos than make pictures on Instagram. But guys, we're everywhere you want to be. Our hit up www.fallibleman.com. Our website will take you to all of our stuff. So check that out as well. And guys, we're going to get on with the show. It's great to have you and I'll be right with you. Welcome back, guys. Be sure and grab your cup of coffee or whatever you're drinking. If uh, you're a regular on the show, you know I can't get through a show without coffee. And hey, depending on how late I'm filming, it might be something else too. Gotta love it, guys. But whatever you're drinking, settle in and uh, welcome to the show. We're glad you're spending time with us today. Guys, I hated Superman growing up. Like, I always thought he was the most ridiculous superhero ever because he was completely unrelatable. Now, like dozens of people just hit the thumbs down button on this podcast or downvoted this podcast. Some people just like ended the podcast. Bear with me. Okay. I I know I'm a Superman hater. Sorry, but I hated Superman because he was only vulnerable to like some space rocks. And it's amazing how many people had kryptonite, right? I mean, like, does it just fall off trees? It rains down from space all the time. Like, everybody and their dog had kryptonite. It was annoying. But he was only vulnerable to rocks from his own planet. But otherwise, he was just too much of goody two-shoes to me. I didn't like him. He had no weaknesses other than this stupid rock. He was completely unrelatable. I'm I'm definitely a Batman guy. In fact, when they did uh, the comic book, yes, the comic book, not the horrible movie, when they did the comic book, Batman vs. Superman, I totally got Batman. Like, and even some of the Justice League stuff, I totally understood Batman's point of view. I'm a big believer, all you gotta do is look around and realize that absolute power corrupts ap- absolutely, right? I think that's a famous quote. I know I grew up hearing it, but I don't know who said it, so. I'll try and put that in on a YouTube video for you guys just listening to the podcast. Sorry, someone look that up and comment it down below and let me know who I stole that quote from, but I absolutely believe that. Superman was just too unrelatable. I get it. I don't I don't trust him because everybody has a breaking point. Everybody has one bad day and they just snap and all of a sudden, you know, 
right? They they did the red Superman thing where he what if he came down in communist Russia or whatever and yeah. So he was never a Superman guy, but I didn't ever understand wanting to be Superman until my oldest daughter was born. You know, if you're on the show before, you know I have a couple kids. If you're new to it, I have two daughters. I have Abby and Henley. Abby is actually, when this podcast airs, she will have just turned nine. Uh, this one will air, I think, the second week of January sometime. So she'll have just turned nine or be up. Yeah. Um, my little one is six. And my daughters are the joy of my life, guys. But when Abby was born, she was born premature. Now, God was with us and took care of us. And Abby was premature, but she was mostly healthy. She had some jaundice issues, but the biggest problem was she couldn't eat on her own. Now, there are, I have friends who have had way bigger complications with their kids, guys. But as a father, that's that's a mountain right there. It, it doesn't matter what the problem is. Your child is not healthy, and it is the most helpless feeling you can ever have. And it is horrible. It is crushing because you absolutely cannot do anything to make the situation better. And there is nothing worse than that feeling of being completely helpless to fix your child or take care of your child's problem. So I absolutely just, oh, it was horrible. Just, just, mm. but for the first time in my life, I understood that my strength was completely useless like I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but I'm a pretty strong guy. So my raw strength was completely useless. The little brain power I have was completely useless. I was completely useless. And it was a horrible feeling. And for the first time, I wanted to be Superman because nothing, Superman could fix everything. Always. It was amazing. Right? No problem was ever too small for Superman. Superman was the superhero who get cats out of the tree. Superman was the person who helped with the fire department. Superman was the one who helped find the lost puppy. I mean, Superman could fix anything, right? Now, as a father, I want to be that for my kids. Okay? I I want to be Superman. Because my daughters think I am. Sure, they know I can't jump over a single building with a, or a building with a single bound, right? That's, that's the crap or fly faster than a jet, whatever all the crap they used to say about Superman. My kids know I can't do that, but I want to try and be that man because that's who my children see me as. So I broke it down. And I'm going to use some familiar language. If you follow the order of man, uh, I chose to break this down the same way that they do as far as the wording. But, you know, point number one is Superman provides. Okay? We think about provision usually from a financial perspective as men. That's just our habit. When we think about provision, we are only thinking about providing financially. And, you know, we absolutely should be providers for your family. If you're going to have a family, you should be able to provide for them. You should work hard to provide for them. That means they have, you know, the basic necessities, right? They have a roof over their head. They have food to eat. They have clothes on their body. Their basic needs are taken care of. But Superman provides more than that, guys. Superman protects people emotionally, too. I mean, like I said, there was never a job that was too small for Superman. So as a dad, to be Superman, you have to provide for your child emotionally as well. Fathers say, solve basic needs, right? We're all really good about providing that. But you know what else we provide besides basic needs like food and clothing? We provide attendees for tea parties. We provide a playmate. We provide the biggest cheerleaders our kids ever have. We provide a dance partner. To dance in the living room to great music. My kids loved dancing to Shakira when they were little, little. They loved the beat. We provide stylists. I have two daughters, like I said, guys. I've had my nails painted. I've had my makeup done. 
and I've done theirs. Okay. We provide a seamstress sometimes and a toy maker. I am fixing toys and sewing up stuffed animals and stuffed animal clothes all the time. We provide monster inspect inspection services. Okay. All the dads out there, you know what I'm talking about, right? We check closets, we check under beds, we make sure our bedrooms are safe. No job is too small because we have to provide for their emotional needs as well. That's one thing you have to provide for, not just physical stuff. You have to provide emotionally for your child. Hey, and if you're getting something out of this, be sure and give us a review on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, anywhere that you are listening to us, guys. Smash that like button if you're getting something from it, and let's keep going. Number two, Superman protects. It doesn't matter what the threat is. Soups has it in hand. I mean, he's got it down, right? There is no threat too big or too little. The Superman can't handle it. And dads, that's that's what we do. You know, every dad I know who stand toe to toe with a grizzly bear or a pit bull. There, I mean, there's nothing they won't handle. But are you protecting your children emotionally? Are you taking care of them and protecting them emotionally. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not that overprotective dad. You have to let them grow emotionally. You have to let them experience things. You have to let them fail to some extent. But there are times you interfere and times you don't. You have to protect them emotionally. And here, here's how you do that, guys. When was the last time you said, I love you? How often have you told your child, I'm proud of you? Make sure your child knows that you are their biggest fan without question. You are the person cheering in their corner. And guys, there are all kinds of new threats out there to protect them from. If you haven't heard it before, uh, you need to go back to my podcast. I did a two-part episode with uh, at Common Man OCR, who's an IT guy like myself, and we had a two-part episode discussion about parenting and technology and all the new threats with technology, what that means to your children, what that means to you as a parent trying to take care of your children. Because there are threats online that didn't exist when we were a kid. Go back and be sure and hit those episodes, guys. There are things that are following them home. Bullying, which I'm not a big fan of the term, but bullying used to stop at the school because you went home. But now with social media, bullying can follow your kids home, and it's actually becoming a problem. And I never thought I'd say that, but I am. Okay? Do you know who your kid is interacting with online? The amount of, I, I read a lot of news, and the amount of busts they have on a regular basis of people trying to lure kids online into horrible situations, whether it's, you know, pedophiles trying to get your, to your kids, or kidnappers, or, you know, human trafficking people. Guys, there are, do you know who your kid is in? online with? Do you know who they're interacting? Do you know their friends? Do you know their connections if you haven't let them have social media? There is a world to protect our children from now that didn't used to exist. At least it wasn't prevalent and available like it is today. Superman has to protect. So be Superman. Guys, we're going to roll to today's sponsor and uh, we'll be right back. Today's episode brought to you by TheFallibleMan.com that's right, it's us. Head over to www.thefallibleman.com and check out our blog, updated twice a week with new content, and links to all of our social media offerings. Tag or search us at The Fallible Man or at Fallible Man on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social medias for daily content. While you're there, check out our attitude swag, shirts, cups, stickers, and more. Again. That's www.thefallibleman.com. Hey, welcome back, guys. Be sure and hit that bell notification if you're on YouTube. 
We have all kinds of stuff going on on our YouTube channel. If you're listening on the podcast, be sure and head over to our YouTube channel and check that as well. But hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we post content. Guys, we don't just post the video version of the podcast. We also have a lot of stuff going on. I have a new partnership with at Man OCR because we're working on developing videos for everyday guys who are just trying to take control of their health like we are. We are not glorified YouTube fitness people. We're not pretty to look at. We are just guys who have been sitting in chairs too long working behind computers who are just trying to take control of our lives and our health, and maybe that's you as well. Guys, I was a construction worker for several years, and you stay in better shape working construction than you do some other gigs, but you're still not as healthy as you should be. And so check out our fitness channel over there. Our fitness stuff on there is not just a fitness channel. The video podcast is there as well. We have cooking videos because I think every man should be able to cook for himself and for his family and all kinds of other content. Um, dropping later this week, or the, a new video just dropped last week, I should say. and. It was three books that every man should read. Guys, go over and check that out and see what we're saying and why we're saying you should read these books. Now, we're going to keep rolling with the show. Finally, Superman presides. In our quest to be Superman, we have to preside. Now, there's a lot of confusion. Not everybody is familiar with that word. And it's not because people aren't educated or don't know things. It's just not a word we use a lot. It's a very odd word for a lot of people. So if you're not familiar with the term preside, it means to exercise authority or control, or to hold a position of authority. I'm actually reading that definition, so I get it right, guys. Um, Superman is actually really great at this whole idea of preside, because Superman is a humble leader. right? Superman shows up, and people just hand him control of the situation. Because he's Superman. That comes from the way the man lives. Okay? The superhero, Clark Kent, whatever. That comes from who he is as a person and the way he lives his life. Everybody knows the Superman is a protector and a provider. Therefore, when he shows up on the scene, people are willing to hand them or hand him the authority for the situation. Great fathers don't have to ask for this. As a father, trying to be Superman to your kids, trying to live up to their version of you, that means you live your life in a way where your kids willingly surrender to your authority. Okay? I I love my wife, and she pays me so much respect by not challenging me, by letting me lead in our family. She has her say, she has her opinion, and we discuss things, and I listen to what she has to say, and I listen to what my children are saying to me. I listen to what they're saying me, and what they're telling me. But I make the choice. I make the decision. Because, and they let me, they allow me to, because they know that I am making the decision based on what's good for the family, not based on what's good for me. Superman makes the best decision for the situation, not for himself. Guys, if you have to state you're in charge, right? I I saw a great meme the other day, and it said, A lion doesn't roar to tell everybody he's the king of the jungle. And those are always dumb quotes to me because a lion doesn't live in the jungle. But... Guys, a lion doesn't have to tell anybody he's a lion. Everybody knows he's a stinking lion. Everybody knows that he's the king of the savannah. Nobody challenges that. Hyenas are the only thing that will even try, and they'll only do it in a full pack. If you have to state that you're in charge, if you have to state that you're in control, you're not. Live your life in such a way that the people who love you and that you love will gladly let you preside over the situation, over their lives, because they trust you to be the best version of you. They trust you to make the best choices for the family and for them. They trust you with their lives and their well-beings, emotionally, physically, 
in every other way. Guys, be sure and hey, I'm, I'm bad at working these in. Hey, be sure and leave us a comment below if you're. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. We'd love to hear what you have to say. I like getting your input. I like hearing your ideas. It helps me do a better job to make better content for you guys. Look, guys, we all know that being Superman is a super tall order. Like, super tall. Our children know we can't leap over a building in a single bound. They know we can't fly like an airplane. But, isn't it worth trying to rise to that occasion? Isn't it worth trying to be the man your children believe you are? My kids think I am unstoppable. And I work every single day to try and help confirm that for them. Okay, I don't go to the gym and work out for me. I go to the gym and lift heavy weights on a regular basis because I want to be strong enough that I can pick up both my daughters. And at 9 and 6, I still can. I can pick them up, I can carry them, and I've had to do it before. Because if they're hurt or injured, I want to be able to save the day. If I'm playing with them, I want to be able to scoop them up in my arms. So I work out hard. I try and do a good job and make a good living so I can provide for them the things they need. So they can eat good healthy food, so they can have fun, so they can grow up being kids and not grow up too fast. Your kids know you aren't perfect. We know we're not perfect, but guys, isn't it worth trying to be Superman? Aren't your kids worth that? I think they are, and I think you know they are. I encourage you to do so, guys. Try to be Superman, at least for your kids. The rest of the world knows we're just us, but get your ass on. Guys, be better tomorrow because of what you did today. I am the Fallible Man, and I'll see you next time. This has been the Fallible Man Podcast, your home for everything man, husband, and father. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a show. Head over to www.thefallibleman.com for more content and get your own Fallible Man gear.